Hey everybody, it's Liz, and today I just want to share with you a Tuesday morning haul, my first haul of the year. And uh, let me tell you, I went to three Tuesday mornings, and I'm very fortunate that they are all within 15 minutes of my home. So, you know, usually if I'm looking for something at one and can't find it, I'll go check out the other two. And I usually get lucky and find some really good stuff. But uh, let me share with you really quick the things that I found. And I'm sure you've seen some of these in other ladies' videos, but I was just so excited to pick up some of this stuff because I got a lot of dyes. You guys know I'm obsessed with dyes. But um, I'm going to start off by showing you some of the cardstock that I picked up. And this is really cool. This is Basil Cardstock, okay, which we all know is a really good brand because, you know, it's, it's nice and thick. You know, it's a sturdy cardstock, so it's not flimsy. And this was a 25 pack in this light green color for $2.99, which is a great deal if you ask me. Because if you go to the store, you know, like Michaels will carry Basil, and I think it's 59 cents a page. You know what I mean? So this is a really great deal for three bucks, and you get 25 sheets. And I picked this green color because I like using this particular green to die cut leaves, you know, uh, leaves and little sprigs, things like that. And I picked up this other shade of green. Um, again, for the same reason, I like to die cut a lot of leaves and, uh, you know, other things. But again, this pack was $2.99 for 25 sheets. I also picked up this red one because I thought this would be really nice for Valentine's Day. And this is a really deep red, and I'm sorry about the glare. Um, if you guys are noticing, I'm on actually a surface here other than my floor. My hubby made me a desk for my birthday. Um, he still has some finishing touches to do. He's very busy, so he hasn't had enough time to finish it, but I'm so excited. Once he's done, I'm going to share it with you because it's really, really cool. And so anyway, so I got the red card stock, and I picked up another shade of red, or at least I think it's red. It's called Fireheart. Let me see. Is that the name of it? Yeah, Fireheart. And it's red, but it's a lighter shade of red, so it's like, um... I don't know, you would call this, uh, it's not pink. It's a pretty red, though, but I think that would be great for Valentine's Day as well. I also got this peachy color, and I think this would be really pretty, too. I have a couple of paper pads that this go would go really well with. And then, um, so and these are all the 8.5 by 11. Again, they were all $2.99, and I also picked up some 12 by 12 pieces. And again, this is a great deal on cardstock because, as you all know, these are 69 cents at Michael's for the big, you know, the 12 by 12, 59 cents for the, the smaller ones. So, I mean, I think these large ones were $3.99. Yeah, $3.99. Okay, but again, I mean, you cannot beat that. You get 25 sheets. Okay, I picked it up in brown, because I like working with brown. And then I also got another green. So I've got like three shades of green. And I like to mix up my greens when I do, you know, my um, greenery and stuff for my flower clusters. I think that looks pretty. So I've got all of that, all those papers, and that's a really, really good deal on the cardstock. And then I also found um, some of the archival bags that everybody's getting. And I found this one here, and this was $0.99. Cents, and this is 5, 7, 8 by 4 and a half. So that's a good size. I got that one, and then I got a larger one here. Um, this one was $1.99. And this would be good to, you know, send like little um, goodies and stuff, you know, like with some crinkle tissue and stuff. So I got some of those. I just got one of each. And then I found this really cool... Um, paper collection. I actually have never owned this one. It's called Chilling Chillingsworth Manor, and this is by Echo Park, I believe. I've never owned this particular collection. I've seen it, but I've never owned it. So, and you guys know I'm obsessed with Halloween. So anytime that I find you know cool Halloween paper, I snatch it up. So this whole collection is a 12 by 12 sheet, and then some cut aparts and the stickers. So really, really happy for this one. Really excited. I love the colors, of course. And this one was only $5.99. So I thought that was a great deal. I couldn't pass it up. I mean, it'll have to sit in my little box till Halloween, but it's all good. And then I found these really cute embellishments by Maggie Holmes. And I thought these are really cute, so I picked these up. This is the ephemera pack. And they're $1.49, and you get tons and tons of ephemera. Look at all the pieces. 
and I have the uh, confetti collection and I don't have a lot of Maggie Holmes. I only really, really, really like the confetti collection. I haven't really gotten to the other ones, but I'm thinking I'm going to get this one now, the open book collection, just because I really like all these little pieces. And so if I had the paper pad, it would go perfectly and you know how that works. So got that. And I found these super cute bows and I thought they were so cute. I like that they're fabric and that they're different and fun colors. These are so cute, these little tiny ones, and then they come in, you know, the larger sizes. And again, this was $149, and this is the Maggie Holmes, and this is from the Flea Market Collection. So, those are so cute. I could not pass up on these. And then I also found these embellishments here, and they're sequined shapes. And I thought those were so pretty. I especially like the X's and O's and then the hearts. I think these would be really cute for Valentine's Day. And these are also by Maggie Holmes. And this collection, let me see if it says on the back where it's from. It's called Shine and $1.49. I mean, that's really, really good. So I got those. And there was a ton of these, but I only got one. I didn't need that many. And then also for Valentine's Day, I found this really cool die. I found tons of dies, but this is the only, like, Sizzix, well, no, the other ones are Sizzix too, but you know what I mean. Like, standard Sizzix die, and these are the Thin Lips. And I thought this was really cute. So it's like a flower shape, and then a little rosette, and then a little heart. And it comes with all these little pieces. And I thought that would be cute to layer the, this, like a little medallion, on top of um, these little uh, favors that Kayla and I are working on for Valentine's Day for her class. I thought these would be really, really cute. So when she comes home from school, we're going to start working on those. I don't get many days off. I don't get a lot of time. And I know she really misses crafting with me. So I think she's going to have a lot of fun this afternoon. I'm sorry about that. But these are the sizzlets. And sorry, it's not focusing. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, this one was $8.99. There it is, $8.99, and I thought that was really cute. And then I also found some embossing folders. I know a lot of you guys are finding some really, really nice ones. Of course, Tuesday morning had tons of embossing folders, but I already have a lot of embossing folders. So I only wanted to get some that I didn't have anything, you know, that looked like, you know, like I already have it. So I picked this one up, and I thought this was super cute. For $3.99, you get two embossing folders. And this one is really cute. It's got tiny, tiny little hearts. And then this one's got, you know, it says, I love you in different ways. Be mine. I thought that was really cute, too. And again, just perfect for Valentine's Day. Got to make some cards and some teacher gifts and stuff. So hopefully I have enough time to use, um, you know, some of this new stuff on some of the projects. I think that'd be cool. And then I also found this one here. And I really like this one because it's got little itty bitty stars. So it's like tiny, tiny little stars and then slightly bigger stars. And for $3.99 for two, great deal, right? Can't pass it up. Really cool. And then I picked up some of the larger ones, the 6x6. Six six. I had seen, oh gosh, a couple of you had a video where you picked up some of the 6x6. Six six, and I've never seen these larger embossing folders. So I was like, that is awesome. i got to get me at least one. So I picked up the one with the polka dots, or the dots, so it's got the tiny dots, the larger dots, and again, these are $3.99, and they are, they are by We Are Memory Keepers, and I really like these because they will cover, you know, a larger area, so like if I want to make a 6x6 card, this is perfect. So, that's the embossing folder, really cool. And then, oh my gosh, I picked up so many dies, you guys know I'm obsessed with Tim Holtz, and all his, you know, dies and stuff, so every time I find some, I gotta, I have, have to have them. Of course, unless I already have it at home. But I picked this one up here, and this one is really nice. This is for Christmas. And this is the, uh, let me see, what is this one called? It is called Holly Beaded and Snowflake Garland. And I especially love this one here with the little bows. That is so stinking cute. So I'm so glad to have found this one. It was on my wish list for Christmas. And I did not find it at all. So now I found it. Now I have to wait till next Christmas to, you know, bust it out. But perfect. Love it. I also found this one and I thought this one was really cool. This is the Birds in Flight decorative strip die. And what I like about this is that not only can you use it as, you know, a cluster of birds, maybe like flying through the sky, but you can actually go in and just cut these up. You know what I mean? To make it like individual birds. And I just thought really cute. I thought it was a great shape because, you know, they're flying. I believe these are swallows. 
And then back in California, I remember, you know, the swallows were always coming back to um, that, uh, what was it, the monastery or, yeah, San Juan Capistrano. And so it reminded me of, of that, and I really like this, so really, really nice. So I'm going to have fun with that. And then I picked up this one here, the ticket strip. I never picked this one up before originally, and I always kick myself in the butt for not getting it because I have this stamp that would fit right in here in the ticket strip. I have the, this particular stamp, so now that I have the tickets, I can like you know stamp stamp it and then die cut the tickets and use them in projects. So I thought that one was cool. And 9.99, and these are all like half off, you know what you would normally pay. Okay. And then I also picked this one up, and this is the um, sized ovals ovals, and I already have ovals, of course, I've got my Spellbinders ones, but I wanted some that would cut into chipboard. So, like, I have a couple of frames um, that I'd like to, they're not frames with, you know, the inside cut out, so this is, this is perfect. I can use these to cut a hole in the inside and actually create a frame. So, these are really good, and you get three different sizes, and again, this will cut through chipboard, which is the main reason why I got this one. Okay, really cool. And then I got a lot more. <laughs> I'm telling you, I went crazy. I don't know, you guys. I'm just obsessed. It's terrible. We have a sickness, I think. We just can't pass up some goodies. And I found this one here, and I really like it because this is so cute. So tiny. Look at that. So tiny. And this is the Mini Feather and Inkwell for $6.99. Really, really cute. Not only did I grab this one in the mini version, but I also grabbed it in the bigger size. So I know. I know. It's crazy. But I wanted both. Only because this one's so tiny and cute. And in this one, I could, you know, I don't know if you could see it. But it's bigger. Much bigger. So. And then this one comes with the pen nibs and the other one did not. So. I don't know. I'm crazy. What can I say? But I thought that was cute. And then I also got this one, and this is the arch frame, and I like this one, and I have a couple of ideas for this, and what I like about this is that it's actually versatile. You would think that it isn't, but think about it. If you turn it upside down, now it's a pocket. You know what I mean? So you can make like a little pocket, cut this out, put it in, the, in front of your card or whatever, and have like little things coming out, you know, from the top or whatever. I don't know, I just thought it was cute, but I have a couple of ideas for this one. It looks very basic and very simple, but I can do something fun with that. I picked that one up. I also picked this up here. This is the tag and tie, and yeah, you guys are saying, you know, you can make your own tag, and yes, I can, but I can't make that, and that's what I wanted. And I mean, it's $9.99, and I know I'm definitely going to use this because I'm participating in the, um, the monthly tags over at Tim Holt's blog and I'm going to share with you my tag at the end of the video because you know if you guys follow his blog every month he showcases like new techniques using some of his new products and you know it's really cool and I participated last year unfortunately I probably missed the last five or six months only because I've been working so much but I want to get you know get on it again it was just so much fun to learn new techniques and and you know use them on tags so I'm definitely going to get plenty of use out of this one Okay, and then I also picked this one up here, and this is the mini clock, key, and pocket watch, and I thought that was really cute because I love the pocket watch. Super cute. So, I'm excited to work with that, and I picked up an oldie but goodie, the old jalopy. I have never owned this die. I remember ordering some die cuts on eBay. I think I got like six of them, but the chipboard that they, it was just so thin, and I would have loved to have it be, you know, thicker chipboard. Because, you know, I like to paint. I like to make, you know, I, I like to do lots of stuff on my chipboard. And so it's got to be thick. And it's got to be able to withstand, you know, wet mediums and stuff like that. So now that I have this dye, I can do that. And I have a couple of ideas. Because I saw this really, really cool card for Christmas where they turned this into a truck. And then they had, like, this little Christmas tree coming out. And I thought that was just adorable. That's the only reason I got this, because I want to do that. Again, Christmas time. So, this one's going to... You no, know, I might I might find some uses, because you know what? I can use this for Halloween and have, like, little spooky faces in the windows. I think that would be really cute. But, finally got my old jalopy. And, you guys, I think that is it. Let me share with you really quick that tag that I made. And, again, um, it's from Tim Holtz, Monthly Tags. 
you know, monthly tag challenge. So much fun because he teaches us new techniques using some of the new products that, that are coming out. Um, plus, you know, you can submit your, um, your tag for a chance to win. I've won twice last year, and that was so cool because he sends me, like, you know, probably like $30 worth of stuff, and it's so fun. It's coming from Tim Holt himself, you know what I mean? So super cool. So this is my tag for the month of January, and you can go check out Tim Holt's blog. He's got all the instructions on how to create it. I basically followed it step by step with my own touches, of course, because this does not look like his tag. Um, I think his had the blueprint sketch stamped and a clock or something like that. So I followed the technique, but I made it my own. You know what I mean? And I think it came out really cool. I especially love the embossed metal background. And then um, I really like these wings, and I have them from one of his stamp sets. And so I used the chalkboard technique that he teaches us. And I made two separate, you know, it's actually, yeah, it's two sets of wings that I fussy cut out to make it, you know, look like it's, you know, flying or dimensional. Open up your wings. So, I really like that. And then I've got the metal heart that I used some uh, red paint on. Then I kind of cleaned it up a little bit with a wet paper towel just to give it that distressed look that screams Tim Holtz. And then I've got this little word band here that says observations. And then I just topped it off with some crinkled black seam binding that I dabbed some metallic paint on. And that's it. And like I said, just go to his blog. He shows you how to step by step on how to create this effect in the background and the chalkboard technique. So fun. And then this particular tag, I titled it With Brave Wings, She Flies. It uh, reminds me of, I was thinking of my daughter, my oldest daughter. You know what I mean? She's just, um, I've seen her grow so much in just the last year, from being such a shy kid with such low self-esteem to just blossoming into this beautiful young lady. And it made me think of her, you know what I mean? Because it's like, it's like she's opened up herself, you know? So she spread her wings, and now she's going to fly. She's going to soar, uh, you know, just soar. And that's my observation of her, so... That's my tag. I think it came out really cool. I love it. And I'm going to take a picture of it and submit it to the challenge. And keeping my fingers crossed, I might win again. So, anyways, that's my little haul and my little tag share. I hope you guys enjoy. Definitely go check out your Tuesday morning, you guys. They have tons and tons of stuff. Of course, I could have picked up a whole lot more, but oh my gosh, I'd be broke. I kind of am, but whatever. I'll be getting a check on Friday. So it's all good. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I'll be seeing you all real soon. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.